Ever wondered why witches are often depicted with warts? This stereotype has deep roots, intertwined with the same centuries-old superstitions that painted witches as an evil presence. Going back to the 15th century, the witch hunt began in Europe. Christian doctrine at the time associated witchcraft with pagan beliefs, heresy, and even the devil. This persecution reached its zenith in the 16th and 17th centuries with the infamous witch trials in Salem, Massachusetts, Scotland, England, and across Europe. To separate the so-called evildoers from society, witch hunters searched for something known as the witch's mark, or the devil's mark, thought to be a brand from the devil himself. These witch's marks were nothing more than skin imperfections. They could be warts, skin tags, moles, birthmarks, a third nipple, animal scratches, or even forms of melanoma. If someone was accused of witchcraft, they were thoroughly examined for these marks. Any skin abnormality found was used as proof of the devil's influence, and the unfortunate individual, usually a woman, would be convicted of witchcraft. The 17th century, however, ushered in the Enlightenment, an age of reason, knowledge, and humanitarianism. This wave of progressive thinking helped to put an end to witch hunts and dispel the superstitions of the previous centuries. It was finally understood that these so-called witches, warts and all, were not causing any harm to anyone. Despite this, the image of the wart-ridden witch persisted. But, as with many things, times are changing. Modern witches from pop culture, such as Hermione Granger from the Harry Potter series, Wanda Maximoff from the Marvel Universe, and Sabrina the Teenage Witch, are depicted in a positive light, sans the infamous warts. So, to summarize, the association of witches with warts began in the 15th century as part of the witch hunts. It was a misinterpretation of skin imperfections, seen as marks of the devil. With the Enlightenment, the witch hunts ended and these superstitions were debunked. Yet, the image of the wart-covered witch endured. Today we see a shift in the depiction of witches, moving away from the negative stereotypes of the past and towards a more positive portrayal.